again Linux gamers and this time we'll see how we can get Joypad supports on wine games, uh, mostly uh, modern wine games released last couple of years that use X inputs. Um, as some of you may know, X input is not yet supported in wine, but we have a few tricks we're using in Lutris that can make this game work. So let's see first how well it runs. We're using Darksiders here, which might not get a native port like we expected. I had a little chat with the guy who was into porting the game but he left Nordic Games a couple of months ago and stopped working on this and tried to reach to Nor Nordic Games and they didn't respond. So yeah, this might be the closest you can get as a native experience. So, the game has launched. I'm playing with the Xbox controller and everything works quite well. It's pretty smooth. Uh, there are a couple of glitches in the game, but nothing too serious. The game really is playable. I made it quite far into the game, so shows that really the game is runs well in Linux. Oh, and there's uh, force feedback with this option as well. Like, doesn't work all the time, but it works. So that's some badass monster. Yeah, this game is really cool. I got a lot. It's too bad that it's not getting a native version anymore. Going to finish this fight? Well, oh, maybe not. Still a few monsters again. Badass mode.
So the only thing I didn't get working in this game were the videos. I know there should be a way to get them working, but currently it's not quite there yet. Yeah, it's not perfect. Still very playable. So okay, let's see now how how it's done. Save. All right. So what's we what's going on here is that we're using a library made. Uh, specifically to add support for X inputs in wine games. It preloads the library at runtime, so when you have a game like this, you have to check this box, enable X inputs. And yes, it's quite experimental right now. Not all games will work. But yeah, I've made uh, a few games work that way. So. That's the first step is enable X, X input in the runner options. Um, another very important thing is in the joypad control panel, you have to disable one of these two controllers. If you have those two enabled, uh, the game will crash. You won't get anything running, you'll get a crash. Uh, hopefully this gets fixed um, in a future release of the X input library, but right now, yeah, you have to to select like, the joystick control panel and yeah, disable one of the two controllers. So which one you disable um, doesn't matter a lot. I mean, you have to try it out. Uh, some games will work with the event joypad. Some other games will work with the GS. Uh, I think most most of the games will run just fine with any of them. Uh, another thing you need is you need to have uh, X three sixty CE in the game folder. So that's done by copying. So you have these archives here. Uh, you can get them in, in lutris.net slash files slash tools. And you have two versions here. Uh, this version, the input eight, uh, has a the input blocker, which means it won't use the, the version shipped with your system. Uh, the other one has not. So depending on which game, uh, one will work, the other won't. For Darksiders, we need the uh, input uh, 8 one, so which at this list library. Let's see, so it has all these files in it. And it also has game controller db.txt. This is not part of the um, uh, X360 CE, but something I added, and it's needed by SDL2 to map correctly to your controller. Um, other than that, that, it should work pretty much out of the box if you add these files. So here, this is the config tool, but it's really hard to make it work on Linux. So you just need this and this DLL. 
Um, one last thing you need to get this working. If we open the wine configuration in libraries, uh, you'll probably need uh, to set the input 8 to native built in. Here, you can set it in native then built in. And X inputs 1, 3 to build in. So once you've done all this, uh, so you need to check X input support in the wine configuration. You have to disable one controller here. You have to set the libraries um, native and built in. And you have to copy these files in the game folder. Once you've done all of this, you should have controller support. Um, I haven't managed to do that on all the games, but I've done it on Batman, Arkham Asylum. I've done it on Rage Racer, this work as well. I've done it on Dark Souls. Um, I haven't managed it to work on Enslaved, so this uses Xbox DRV instead. But yeah, some, some games will work just, just fine. Uh, of course, like, you have some games that doesn't require this. You can run the game and it will have joypad supports out of the box. So, or you can use Xbox DRV uh, as another option, like in Dark Darksiders. Uh, we have two installers, so one will use Xbox DRV and uh, the other one will use the uh, X input lib. So that's how we do it. Um, yeah, as I said, it's quite experimental right now. So what you have to do is play with it, like try different settings and see how what, what works. Um, I know some some users have managed to to add uh, controller support to a bunch of other games. So yeah, it's it's a thing now. I hope you you get some games working with control supports, um, force feedback and all. Uh, this has been like a great thing because this game is not something you want to play without a controller. I mean, playing that with keyboard and mouse is just painful. So it's really good to have like really good controller supports on this game. And yeah, now, now that it works really well, well, I don't mind so much not having a native port. I mean, it would have been really nice to have one, but at least I can play the game. That's what matters the most. So, all right, hope you can make this work as well for, for you. And yeah, if you had any issue making um, adding controller support for your Windows games, then yeah, you can drop us a line on RRC or on the forums. We'll try to help you out. All right, see you next time.